Hi friends, welcome to our tutor. In this tutorial, I am going to teach you how to make line icons for your mobile apps, websites by using Figma software. Figma is a free designing software. You you can create UI UX and also prototype them. If you're not if you're not a Figma user, please have a look into it. It's a very it has very good feature. It has very good features. If you want to learn more UAX for mobile apps and your website, don't forget to don't forget to check other tutorials from Figma playlist. You will definitely enjoy them. I have covered very very detailedly how to design for mobile apps like dating app and how to create mobile app landing page and all those things. If you are new to our tutor, then don't forget to subscribe to our channel because you definitely enjoy our tutor because we continuously upload great informative tutorials in this. If you like our videos please comment them and share them and without any further delay let's get into the tutorial start designing by taking 100 by 100 frame Actually, as Figma is a vector based software, I can scale the elements into at any distance. That's why I'm taking small canvas. Here I have opened few icons in flat icon. Flat icon is a website where you can find thousands of free icons. You can download their source and use in your project. I actually opened this just for the reference. To show you how to make icons as i like these icons very much that's why i have opened this and i'm showing you how to design these kind of icons like line icons whenever you are going to design an icon illustration or anything first you have to know its basic shape in which shape it is actually whether it is rectangular square oval circle triangle or anything first you have to define these shapes and then proceed from there here I have drawn a vertical rectangle and I have removed its fill color and a given stroke and also I have given little bit of rounded radius to its corners I have taken a circle and make it half and I selected the both edges and made them rounded corner and draw another circle above to give it a user icon given stroke color made another duplicate and make it fill why I'm doing this to substitute the user shape from the rectangle actually I have drawn I have taken this shape and and from the shape options I have chose subtract so if you see the shape has subtracted from the rectangle so that I have space to arrange my actual user icon Now take line tool and draw three horizontal lines and make a little bit bolder. Distribute them vertically.
and without taking new frame and drawing new shapes in it i am actually duplicating the existing one to use few shapes from it To draw pencil, I have taken vertical rectangle and selected top, both the top points and have given complete rounded to it to give it a more rounded look. And for the pencil pointer, I have taken triangle shape, drawn a triangle shape and I aligned it with respect to, to the rectangle. I have selected the bottom point of the pointer and give it a little rounded corner to give it a more rounded look. And I have selected both the shapes and combined them. I have offered the fill color and given stroke. And not uh, I have chosen outside option from the stroke options. And after I have completed with the pencil, I align this pencil as it is in the reference. I have duplicated the second icon and removed whatever the shapes not required and I have adjusted the existing shapes and added new shapes to it to create a new icon by doing this way you can reduce lot of time because you are not doing everything from start again but instead of that you are using the existing icons that way you can save a lot of time To create the gear icon, I have drawn a vertical rectangle and given rounded radius to the corners. To give more truths to the gear, I have copied the same shape and pasted it and adjusted it. And again I have selected both the shapes, duplicate them and I have rotated them. Okay, this way I got the outer shape of the gear. Now I select all the shapes of their fill color given stroke and I can I have combined them. Now you see the shape have combined and create a gear tooth. Again I have make it flatten. Okay. Now I got pointers to the inner, inner edges. Now I select all these points and give them rounded radius. Now you can see the shape of the gear and it got a little cut in the bottom edge. So I have 
we actually make the stroke center the stroke when I delete the point where you got a sharp edge to the stroke for that I made the stroke rounded okay now I have drawn a tick shape by taking pen tool and I have aligned it to the center of the gear To create the capturing icon, I have drawn a square shape and given rounded corners to all four sides. And if you see in this, there are four arrow indicators on all the sides. For that, I have drawn a plus shape and I have subtracted it from the square so that you can see the plus subtract and it, there you can see the four points to draw the eye shape have taken another square and have rotated it select the top pointer and bottom pointer and given radius to them rounded radius now you can you see the actual almond shape which it looks like I and have given stroke to it ok now we got the actual eye shape to draw pupil take a oval circle tool and draw a circle give stroke to it duplicate it and make it smaller to fit inside the big circle and have given fill color to it so that it looks like more of a pupil to give a slit I have added pointer I am adding few pointers and delete the center pointer so that it will split the line go to stroke options and give it rounded option I follow same process to all the icons watch me doing all the icons carefully this is the process for all the things I'm doing don't get confused if you confuse anywhere stop there stop the video there and watch it again from back it's very simple process you see just I'm doing drawing basic rectangle shapes by combining them and subtracting them I am creating new custom shapes and by giving them little bit of rounded radius and adding points and deleting some points to make a split in the center of the line
please keep watching the video until end of the video so that you will get detailed understanding on how to create different icons in different shapes.
to export the icons in different formats select all the frames and click export option from the right bottom don't select icons but the frames because by selecting frames all the icons will export it in the same dimensions 100 by 100 or else if you export if you select only the icons and export them they will get in different sizes because each icon in different shape so that it will export as per the shape dimensions and all the icons comes in different sizes which is little bit added to the developers when you given it for the development see you can export SVG also which is scalable vector graphics that can expand to any distance if you zoom in also it will not lose it, its pixels that's the plus point of the SVG thanks for watching if you like our video don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon Please like, comment and share. See you next time. Bye.